The topic of AI, artificial intelligence, has been all over the media in recent weeks. Reason enough for us to have a look at how AI is going to be affecting our process of filming underwater and capturing our underwater adventures and how we can make use of the AI advances that will come up in the upcoming month and years to help us capture our amazing underwater adventures. Let's do this. Hey there underwater filmmakers, welcome back to the channel. It's great to see you back here with me for this Tuesday's video. I don't know how much you have been involved in and how much you have been in contact with artificial intelligence. I have to say for myself that it did take me a little while to get used to the idea of it and to start using it in my everyday life. Now, for most of us, it all started with JetGPT earlier this year when that software was released and it was just omnipresent everywhere. Most of us started to get in touch and started to use this software here and there and see what it can do. At first, I was a little skeptical, I have to say, but I found out that it can be actually a really big help for me when I'm scripting out new online videography courses. Yes, there's new courses in the making and you'll hear about them as soon as they're ready here on the channel. But ChatGPT was really a big help in terms of organizing the structure of these courses, making sure that I do not forget any important topic that I really wanted to have inside these courses. Not that I was following all the um, suggestions that ChatGPT brought up for a specific course, but it just helped me find the structure and as I said, not to forget any of the important topics that I wanted to have in there. But ChatGPT is not really what I wanted to talk about in this video because we are image makers. We film or take photos underwater and so naturally that was the field that was more interesting to me. And I saw on social media that a few of my friends have been experimenting with stuff like, um, like Midjourney, a application, if you don't know what it is, where you can use a prompt similarly to what you do on ChatGPT, describe an image and the software will artificially create that image for you. And it does it really, really well. Not all images look great, but if you are very specific on what you want, you can create some really amazing imagery. Still photos, obviously, not videos. Midjourney doesn't do any videos, they only do photos. I actually wanted to try it out, but it seems like I'm a little late to the game because right now they're not accepting any, or not giving away any test versions of it anymore. So you have to pay for like a full version right away from the beginning. And since photo is not really what I'm too interested in, I decided not to, not to get that subscription and start looking for other things. So I started looking around on the internet and I found a variety of different, of different platforms that claim to create artificial video for you by you giving them a prompt and they're creating the video. One of the platforms that I tested is called, let me just look it up, is called Cupwing, cupwing.com. And it seemed to me to be sort of the most advanced platform that I could find. I didn't really spend too much time looking for it, a couple of minutes, but it was one of the first ones that appeared that was not a sponsored post. So I went into this platform and I really wanted to see whether I can create an underwater video that I would normally record myself because I wanted to see kind of how replaceable I am as an underwater camera person and see whether or not a software can do my job by just artificially creating a clip. So I chose the following clip or I uh, prompted the following sentence to the software. I said, create a video about a hoax turtle feeding on some hard color 
on a tropical coral reef in shallow water. After I entered my prompt, I was then able to decide whether I want to have a traditional 16 to 9 video created, a social media style vertical post created and I went for the vertical one. Uh, you could also decide where you wanted to have some extra text on the video and then pressing create. It would just take a couple of minutes for the video to be created obviously. Now we'll just skip fast forward through that and by the end once the video was uh, ready to be shown this came out I think you'll agree that this was a rather disappointing result, but at least we can say that the AI is not going to be replacing us as underwater videographers anytime soon. Nevertheless, we do need to keep that in mind and acknowledge that technology is moving quite quickly into the direction that it's not only stills, still photos, but probably quite soon it will also be capable of creating realistic good looking underwater video clips and once that happens the question is how is this gonna impact the underwater videography community will it mean that no one will ever use a camera to film their underwater adventures again no i don't think that's the case because most of us don't film to do something with those clips other than use them for our personal use and to show it to friends and family. There's very few people out there who are actually capturing underwater footage to be sold as stock clips. And if that's what you're doing, then I think AI can become a rather big competitor to you in the not too distant future. But if you want to be capturing just your own underwater experiences, your encounters, then there's no reason to not take a camera with you underwater and film it yourself because it's your encounter, it's your experience, it's your moment that you're capturing there and no AI technology or software will be able to replicate that for you no matter how good it is. That's at least my opinion because you're always going to be you're always going to be uh, somehow sentimentally drawn to the imagery that you've created yourself much rather than stuff that you've just prompted into a software and was created that way. But how can artificial intelligence be useful for us like looking into the future as underwater videographers? And I think there is ways how we can embrace that technology even even as underwater videographers and hell and making that technology help us create better looking underwater video. A very simple way that I can think of is if camera manufacturers would start to include subject detection spe specialized for underwater use. Most or not most but some camera models have your detection for um, for humans, for for cats, for dogs, for horses, for birds, planes, cars, and so on. Now, if we can include, let's say, fish, turtles, manta rays, boats, whatever you want to include else in there, if we want to, if we can include that into the subject detection, that would already be a big, big help because then the software would know where to focus. We wouldn't have as much focus hunting, hopefully, anymore and we would have to focus where we want to have it. Also, if the camera could judge the exposure better and learn that the exposure underwater works differently than on land, we would end up with nicer looking video clips underwater. And I think that's the way of artificial intelligence when we look at how we can use it in underwater videography. Being able to 
use the automated modes on our cameras more more securely with the knowledge that they will produce better results than what they do now because now honestly speaking i don't really trust any automated mode on pretty much any camera when it comes to filming underwater because it's just such a different field to filming on land and none of these cameras are specialized in that field of, of filming underwater so hopefully that will that will be included sometime in the future in some of the camera models and will make us capable of really just concentrating on experiencing the moment that we have underwater to be fully involved in that moment and being able to just capture some parts of that moment without having to worry too much about you know having the proper exposure having the proper settings having the focus at the right spot all that sort of stuff whether or not the diving community and especially the underwater videography community is big enough to to have camera manufacturers include these features in upcoming camera models well that's a question that will have to be answered sometime in the future when we see where these camera manufacturers are going to be taking their development and their programming of the AI into the newer camera bodies and camera models that will be coming out now how do you stand to this topic how what's your opinion about all the AI that is everywhere really right now and what do you think how can it be beneficial to us as underwater videographers a topic that i would really like to hear more about and hear your opinion about that so make sure to leave it down in the comment section below and i'll make sure to get back to you and uh, and follow up that discussion as quickly as i can and that's pretty much it for today's video. I know this wasn't really a tutorial or a gear review, but it was something that I had on my mind to make this video for a couple of weeks and I finally got my head around it and felt um, that it was necessary for me to make that video and uh, talk about this topic and I'm really curious to hear what you guys to have what you guys have to say about that too. Thank you so much for your time and for watching as always if this video was useful to you if you enjoyed it hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future content that is uploaded here to the channel every tuesday and thursday until next time guys keep capturing all your awesome underwater adventures have a fantastic week and i will see you next tuesday